from geography, so maps, to money, economics. Who likes economics? <laughs> really? What about money? You like money. Everybody likes money. So on your guided notes, we handed you. Anytime you see something written in red and there's a blank open, write that down. So it kind of simplifies the last one. Economics can be defined as a study of how things are bought and sold. Is this a lesson they gave you in college? A lesson they gave me? I made it. If you could buy anything, what would you buy? So think about the bell ringer. We gave you $100 in the bell ringer. Think about if you won the lottery. What would you buy? One at a time. Bailey. I'd probably buy Agma and Town groceries. So they groceries? Would, so okay. they can go hungry. Nice. Okay, that's very good. Preston. I used to make good. Ammunition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we're talking about economy. We're talking about that lead. Well, not. yeah, they sell ammunition. Anybody else? Sean, what'd you buy? Huh? What'd you buy? Think about anything. I'm a bottle of corn. Yeah. Five cars. So when we think of anything, a lot of people want to buy more than they can afford. So fancy houses, cars. That's an Aston Martin. I would buy an Aston Martin. Oh, not that kind of car. That is the most expensive car out there. Try it on. Okay. Get inside that bit. Hey, hold on. Okay. Hold on there. So we need to distinguish what a need and a want is. What's the difference between a need and a want? A want is like, um, So a need is something you need to survive, something you can't live without. So water would be one. Somebody name another one. Food. Food. Shelter. Transportation, I would, I would include that in there. Who, who knows this reference? Who's seen Waterboy the movie? <laughs> That's some high quality H2O. Buddy, I told you, you're not playing football. Who's balls up Okay, one. So, vacation, Taylor Swift concerts, thousands. Sporting events, that's, that's me right there. Dining out. Oh. If you have too many ones, she'll end up like me this morning. Yeah. Beginning of the month, you're flooding the money, and at the end of the month, you've got a few cents. So that means you got mad money right now. Well, I'm in the wall, so I don't have any money. I got three, three quarters in my life. <laughs> Okay, everybody got it? No. And I'll post this on Google Classroom at the end of the day. For some reason, you didn't get it. Okay, goods and services are things that we that, uh, supply our needs and wants. So if our if our needs and wants aren't met and there's a shortage, we have scarcity. We've mentioned scarcity in the last unit with Mexico. That, well, what does that have a scarcity of? Water. 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 It occurs when people uh, have more wants than there are resources. What's something that there's a lot of shortage of? Right here. Yeah. Think about recently. Yes. Walmart. Well, okay, paper. what happens when oil has a shortage? Paper. Uh, diesel goes way up. It goes <laughs> way up. Oh. Okay, think about COVID. What? If you went to the grocery store during COVID, <laughs> you would go to the toilet paper aisle and there would be no toilet paper. Or milk, or bread. Bread. When, or gum powder. When we have snowstorms, when we have snowstorms, think about people go for the bread and milk. 
and then their vowels will just be wiped out. So good is something that can be seen or touched and bought or sold. Think about the new iPhone 15. That's definitely a warm. Terrible. Wood. You got things like clothes, computers, electronics. What are some other goods? Car. Okay. A house. You have goods and then you have services. A service is something performed. For someone else for payment. People who provide services, what are some services y'all can think of? Car wash. Car wash, okay. There's some new car washes opening up. Fantastic Sam's. Fantastic Sam's. Oh, by the way, the new car wash next to Walmart, I think they're offering three car washes. Just today. Okay, so more people include doctors. Is that the list for hiring? Not yet. We haven't got there yet. Lawyers would be a service. Okay, remember we said there's four factors of production. Entrepreneurship. I can't spell that. It's on the board. Where are we writing that in? Okay, on the sheet, it has uh, one, two, three, four. Just write each one of these. This would be the first one entrepreneurship. Remember, an entrepreneur is somebody who takes, takes risk. For business. That's a big word. It is a big, big word. Natural resources is the second. Something that's natural. Human labor resources. So workers like this construction work. I won't skip until you already. Capital resources, human made objects, construction equipment, cranes, tools. This smart board right here, even though it works out of time, is a capital resource. Y'all ready? Oh, no. Okay. I don't want to make too fast. Go right faster, man. Right, good? Okay, these three guys are watching the viewers. That's my dad. It's not real. Okay, what does these three guys have in common? Oh, first, who is this guy? Who is this guy right here? I don't know. He's, he's sadly passed away. the way he's holding. They all created Steve Jobs created Apple. Where's the piece of my dad? What about this guy? We said him earlier. Jeff Bezos, Amazon guy. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. He's got more money. Okay, what is what is these three guys have in common? They all created something. They all created something. Okay, what else? They're all rich. They're all really rich. Top guys, they got daddy's money. Yeah, the top guy's not around anymore, but he was rich. I wish I could be in his family to go. Okay. I know you're jealous because you might These three guys took risk to create a business. They combined land, labor, and capital resources to create a business. So you call them entrepreneurs. So they're someone who takes risks. Anybody around this community, who, guys, listen. Anybody around this community is an entrepreneur. Who's a local person? Uh, who? Walmart. Walmart. Uh, they're more around here in this community. Who is that? Nifty Ag. Nifty Ag. 
Corbin's. Corbin. Corbin. Let's see. Don Franklin. Don, I thought Don Franklin. Like, Joe like, is. Like, people like Don Franklin that own it. It's like higher up. He started out. He, he started. He started. Columbia. Yeah, Don Franklin, which he, he passed away, but he started Don Franklin. Um, Don't know who Don Franklin is, the car dealership. Yeah. Don Franklin, the guy, created the business. Okay, resources. We talked about entrepreneur. Now, the, now we're getting to the other three factors. Which are all resources. A resource is anything used to produce a good or a service. So the three types of resources. We got natural. Anything found in nature. Water. Oil. And you have labor, which is workers. So when you start thinking about your job, you will be considered a labor resource to that company. Then you have capital resources. Anything used Farming. in a business. Farming equipment. Mm -hmm. They're good. So this water right here and the uh, trees in the forest in the environment are re natural resources. This guy will be a labor resource. And that'll be a capital. Natural resources are materials that occur in nature. What are some examples of natural resources? Farming. Farming. So the farming land. Water. Money. Gold. Money is not a natural resource. Oil. Or. Oil would be one. Iron. So to make metal. Silver. Silver. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, so we've got two different types of natural resources. You got renewable and non renewable. Who thinks they might know what those two are? What's the top answer? The top answer? Blank are available. Blank are available. Yeah. Blank are available in the limit supply. Yeah, it's this. Yeah, we got two. Yeah. Okay, so renewable. Got two. Things that are replenished over a short amount of time. So, what's an example of a renewable resource? What do y'all think? Water. Water. Wind. Yes. Water. Wood. We can replant trees. Air. Air. She mentioned wind, so windmills. Solar energy. And so all these things, yeah, and more. Doesn't stop it. Non-renewable resources. These are things that takes a long time to replenish. Things like coal and gasoline. They take millions of years to produce. Then plastics, which is made from crude oil. We have dog readers over those. Iron war and more. Dino. Any questions over renewable and non renewable? Okay, quick quiz. Okay, on your guided notes, just circle which one you think it is. I ain't real smart, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're, you're smart. Fuck yeah. Okay, goal. Renewable or non renewable? Non renewable. Non -renewable.
non-renewable fit. Okay, somebody raise your hand for lumber. Yes, Sean. Okay, somebody leather, Bailey. Non-renewable. Where do we get leather from? Yeah, where do we get leather from? Cows. Cows. So we can raise cows, right? Make some more. Anybody, anybody in your rice cows? Huh? Anybody in your rice cows? Oh, Baker? 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 So leather is renewable. Because we can raise more cows. Natural gas, somebody tell me natural gas. Non-renewable. Non-renewable, good. Okay, moving on to human and labor resources. When you think of human resources, just think of workers. If you get a job, you're going to be a labor resource for them. It's not really as much. Okay. To, to improve labor resources, you need training and education. Somebody tell me, does anybody in here know what they want to do after school? Yep. What do you want to do? Wrestling coach? A do, you need, do you need education and training for that? Yeah. Yeah. LaShawn, well, what do you want to do? Hairstylist, you definitely need training and education. Okay, capital resources. That's what y'all do. These are human made items, like this tractor here. So if you're a farmer, a tractor is a capital resource. These also include buildings. So the building we're in right now is a capital resource to the community. Machinery. Tools. Other equipment. Capital resources also include money to buy these equipment. This equipment. Anybody got any questions about capital resources or labor resources? I don't want to lose anybody. All right, we're here. Oh, we're here. Okay. Oh. Are you lost? Okay. When we're talking about economics, we're talking about there's two types of economics: micro and macro. What does the word micro mean? Small, small. Small. Okay. So when you're thinking of self microeconomics, think about small. What about, so what, what does that make macro? Large. Large. Good point. You get a So microeconomics. Guys, listen. Microeconomics focuses on individuals and smaller communities. It's usually places where goods and services are sold. Yeah. Uh, okay, under two categories of economics, you got two blanks there. Just write the first part of each word. So micro, micro and macro. Just write micro, macro. Yeah, economics is already good.
Everybody good with that? Yeah. Okay, microeconomics. We talked about the focuses on individuals. What are some examples of microeconomics you think that affects our community, ourselves? What about a local grocery store that offers a coupon for a gallon milk? Now, if they did that at Kroger here, does that affect somebody in New York City? Probably. Uh, don't care. Definitely not. No. It only affects us. Okay, a local store gets their employees raises. Does that affect other people? Yes. Yeah. Not directly. Now, if we spend our money over there, maybe. It really only affects us. And a cell phone company offers a family discount, so Verizon offers a local discount for veterans. Macroeconomics. So remember, macro is big, so it affects people at a national, regional, and global scale. So not just here in the community, everywhere. That will definitely affect New York. Yes, it will affect New York. Who got one for it? That's not important. Okay, so thinking about guys, listen. Thinking about macro, what what do you think some examples of that are? Gas. What's going on in the Middle East right now? War. 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 Where? Oh, Israel, Palestine, oh, Israel, so if it affects, where do we get our oil from? Uh, Middle East. Middle East. Middle East. The Bible says so if they, got, if they got war going on over there, what's that going to do for the prices? If they go up. It's going to go up. Gas goes up, everything else is going to go up too. Okay, what about a national minimum wage increase? Talks about the whole country, so that means it's affecting everybody. Unemployment decreases across the country. Again, it's talking about the whole country, so that makes it macro. Okay, last little bit here. Another quiz. And on your got a note, just circle which one. A restaurant has a buy one, get one free sale. Is that micro or macro? Micro. Micro, good. A nation prints more money causing inflation. Macro. Macro. A video game store offers discounts for trading in old games. Who thinks it's macro? Who thinks it's micro? Why, that's not Okay. Video game called. Micro. Let's talk about just one store. Okay, oil production. Gosh. Hold on. Oil production is decreased due to a hurricane causing bad prices to rise. Macro. Last one. A worker receives a $100 holiday bonus. Micro. I got them all right. Does anybody have any questions about this stuff so far? No, me, Barry. If you ever have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay. No, they have good hey, this is tomorrow. Blue. Blue. Oh, going to be the hard part. The whole price period. This person's going to be It's probably going to be.